everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> I've got a journal to share with you guys. Um, if you've been watching my tutorials, you know that um, <clears throat> I was working on some embellishments for this. So I finally got this one done, and this measures um, about five and a half by eight and a half. It's a one signature journal. And um, it's just been made using some of the cardstock from the, this is the Authentique. Um, and I can't remember the name of the line because I purchased it from Tuesday morning. So, um, anyways, I've had this for a while and I loved the colors when I saw it. And it's just a really, really pretty kit to work with. So, I'll try to give you a bit of a close up. <clears throat> These are hand crocheted uh, flowers. That I've put on there. This is a little frame that's been um, gessoed, and then I did some stamping on that, and then I did uh, lots of layers on there, various different stitches, and then I've attached some trim along here. It's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. In the closure, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I've got a bit of a cold, so um, I'll try not to be coughing too much. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the back's just been left um, from, you know, plain. But I, uh, it's really, really pretty papers. I love the colors. Ah, the closure. It's a, um, seam binding with some eyelets. So here's the front. Like I said, it's one signature. I don't know right off the top of my head how many... Um, pages, but I'll have that in the listing if you're interested. Sorry guys, I needed a drink. Um, so here on the front I've done some stitching and I've included like two, <coughs> two pockets here. And then I just did some uh, layering with various pieces of, from the kit and then these are journal cards that go with the kit. So that's tucked in there. These are some of the stickers, and then that's some leftover paper. I've added some trim here. You can see. I love this pattern. It's such beautiful colors. It's some really, really nice papers to work with. Um, this one I've done like a double tag, so you could take that apart if you want to separate those. Some more. Um, it says a dream is a wish your heart makes. <clears throat> Did some corner punching. Just some more things from the kit. <clears throat> Here's just a little tea bag pocket with a couple of other little tags. I love these little tea bags. They feel so nice. Here I did just a bit of. Um, I run that through with a die, so it's kind of like a um, well, negative image, I think is what we call it. Uh, sorry guys, I shouldn't have done this video. Eh, brain is just really, <coughs> really slow today. These are some of the journal cards. So cute. It's um, lots of writing space in here. Some more punching. A uh, bit more here. So you got plenty of room. If you want to add more embellishments, there's plenty of uh, places to do that. Here I've done a little journal card and a <coughs> tag. Paper is so pretty with this. I really do miss going to Tuesday morning and looking through the papers that they get in. I had my little routine of um, Mondays. I would go to um, Hobby Lobby, then I'd go to Tuesday morning, and then Joann's, and then I'd hit Michael's on the way back. Because um, obviously Hobby Lobby's sale always changed on Sunday, and oh boy, do I miss being able to do that. But now I can just order from Amazon. Yay! <laughs> 
I do miss browsing the shops, I have to say. I really wish there was a nice craft store here, but I'll try not to moan about it too much. <laughs> um, here we've got a little pocket. This is another pocket, and I just put a little journal card in there, and that flips over, so you've got a little tag here. And then in here, we've got another, um, just a plain journal card, and that flips over. So you can do some, you could add a photo here and do some writing there. <clears throat> Doily. Just run that through the embosser. Yeah, I really do like this paper collection. It's so pretty. There wasn't, uh, when you get those kits from, uh, this is a double pocket I made with from an envelope. So you got a place to put some things there. When you get those kits from Tuesday morning, I don't know. They're not a full <coughs> paper, paper stack, so I don't know um, if it's stuff that's been returned. Here I just did, um, you know, the negative cutout. I took those two butterflies and I ran a stitch down that. I thought that was really, really cute little accents so the, um, for the page. I must remember to do that. And uh, I really like that effect. It's very subtle. But <clears throat> Here I've done a tuck spot, well, a double tuck spot, and then a tag. And then here I've got a journal card here with some lace. And then that flips open, and you've got two little pockets here you can add some things to. Love this page. This is a, um, uh, I believe this was Graphics Fairy, um, like a doily, it's like a doily type page. And I printed that out, and then I doubled it back so it would be thicker and a little bit more durable. And I did some stitching on that, so it's a nice big pocket there. tea dyed papers, um, and then I've done some various um, printouts, um, some's like a, a mint green, and then this is a really soft pink. And here is um, another journal card, and then you've got a place here you can tuck some things, and here's another little pocket with a journal card. <clears throat> Another one here tucked behind the belly band. So, and then you've also got a big pocket here. And this is the back of that bag. So you've got another little pocket there. You can put some things. So um, here's a glassine pocket. <clears throat> you can add some goodies too. And then I put another pocket on the back, and I do not know why those two do not have tags. They will. I will add two tags to these two pockets. Boy, I guess I must have just um, thought everything was done before I put this away, so I apologize for that, guys. This is. One, two, three, four, five. You got six pockets here, and each of these will flip up so you can do journaling with a photo, or you could just, um, well, whatever, really. It's just one of those waterfall. And then on the very back, I did a belly band so that you could stick some items in here. So I will add two more um, <coughs> tags to this before this goes out. But this is going to be <coughs> listed in my Etsy shop. Um, I'll get this listed in, the, in my Etsy store, but I do want to tell you guys, um, there's going to be some changes. I'm working on a website, and uh, let me put that down. Um, so I'm going to be transitioning from Etsy over to my own site just because Etsy fees are getting so high, and um, it, it's just not viable for me anymore because I'll, I, I put a lot of time into my projects and the portion that they're taking now is it's it's a lot so um, I do hope that <clears throat> I can reassure everybody that everything 
purchased via my website, you still got the same uh, protection because it'll be a PayPal payment, so you've completely protected through PayPal. Um, and all of my items will still be going tracked and shipped unless they are a small value item, um, in which case <clears throat> it's not worth um, me adding that on because it, people just, you know, wouldn't want to pay more for the shipping than the item is. But it's very rare that I have anything um, small that I'm trying to ship anymore. Um, it's generally journals and I will not ship those without being tracked and signed for now a couple of bad experiences and unfortunately you know we have to protect ourselves um, so I hope you guys will understand that and I hope that you'll feel confident enough to transition with me over to that I don't know when that's going to be happening I'm I was hoping it was going to be this week but things have happened and I don't think that's going to be the case, but <clears throat> as soon as it does, I will let you know. Um, so you, you know, and I'll so you can find me there. Um, but other than that, this is going into Etsy. So um, if you're interested in this journal, please check it out. And I do have some tutorials coming up next week. It's just I kind of got behind. Um, with this cold setting in, so I apologize, guys. I hope everybody's doing well, and I will speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.